I mean, this could all go horribly wrong. I'm just looking at the New York Times review of Iron Man 3 from last week. It brings up some good points. I've been wanting to write about Iron Man as a franchise since the third one came out. I knew I was going to do it. I haven't done it yet for A New Atlantis. And that's because I really wanted to take a minute to really kind of stitch it all together because the first one came out in 2008, uh, second one a few years after that, and now, you know, it's a trilogy by Shane Black of all people, not John Favreau. And it's changed so much given the Marvel Cinematic Universe and all of the other films that have woven uh, into the fabric of the Iron Man mythology that the film plays upon in this one, that it's such a confluence of so many different things that I feel like I can't just spout something off in an afternoon and get it up. I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to pick it apart. It should be like a more of a slow burn. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know. Yeah, it's been a busy week. I'm kind of bummed out. I was invited to a CD release party tonight in London for a band called the Creekside Strays, uh, who I know. Uh, I did a review of their first EP a couple of years ago for New Atlantis, and they invited me out to this one. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. But uh, Justin Shorey, who's the drummer for the band, was kind enough to give me a preview copy of the album. And I even spoke to him earlier today about the album and, and what the band's doing and, and everything they got, they got going on. Uh, so that was that was great, thanks to him. Uh, so I'm looking to do a write-up on that maybe for early next week, Monday or Tuesday. Um, I got a whole lot of footage to go through though. I spoke to him for at least an hour today by phone. He was in London. He's got one of those new Blackberries, so we couldn't really Skype or anything on it. Apparently, for whatever reason, the App Store it doesn't even have a Skype on it. So I don't know, phone calls. I mean, I can't even remember the last time I made an actual phone call. I'm recording this on my phone. That's, that's what I use my phone for, not actual phone calls. That's messed up. I thought when I graduated, I wouldn't have to do any more homework, but apparently not. Also, looks like I don't really know how to spell either. I'm really late. I'm supposed to go see Gatsby tonight, but I'm leaving like really late and so the trip downtown is gonna be quite a problem so I'm gonna have to hurry up the only problem is that I haven't had any coffee yet so I need to get some of that first I really don't know what to think about Gatsby I mean it's directed by Baz Luhrmann who I don't particularly like except for that everybody's free video that was pretty cool but I read the book when I was in high school as you do and it was okay, but I think I have a greater appreciation for it now that I actually understand or have greater understanding about it. But whether or not it would transfer appropriately over to a movie, especially one that is so rich and colorful as what Baz Luhrmann seems to have done with this version, I don't know. I'll probably hate it. I end up hating most things. It's just the way I am. But we'll find out in a couple of hours. First things first, though, uh, before I go anywhere, I need to get me some coffee. Haven't had any all day. Actually, no, that's a lie. What am I talking about? Me going without coffee is never in the cards. I just haven't had any for a few hours. I like coffee. Delicious. So in case it wasn't already clear, 
this whole thing is a pilot project. I'm not really sure what to expect or if it is even something that's worth continuing. I wanted to find out. That's why I started doing it in the first place. But one thing I have noticed, uh, just in the short time that I have been doing it, is if it's something that I would want to continue doing, there are definitely some changes that I would have to make almost immediately. For instance, uh, recording using my iPhone as a primary camera, I don't think that's going to work out very well. Already I've noticed several instances where I can't film something or show something because the action that I want to show is predominantly from my phone. And so you can't show that if your camera is your phone. For instance, buying the coffee. I use the uh, Starbucks card within my phone to pay for it. And so that's not going to work. It's good coffee, though. Gatsby sucked. Well, that about does it for episode one of this little endeavor. I want to thank you guys for indulging me while I sort things out. We talked about Iron Man, talked about Gatsby, and talked about a whole bunch of other interesting things. Well, that I think are interesting at least. Maybe not to you. But hopefully over time, these things will get a lot better. If you did like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button and to like as well. I'd really appreciate it. Until then, I'm going to get back to the keyboard. I just got off the phone with Justin Shorey, the drummer for the Creekside Strays, and I'm hoping to write an article about the follow-up show this week. So stay tuned for that. Until then, see you later.